Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, we'll discuss what is load factor and simple uniform hashing. So last video we discussed, let's say if I have a table which has M indices, it will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. So on. It will go on till M minus 1, all right? And uh, we have N values which we want to store across M keys, okay? So N values will be stored across M keys. Uh, and if we use a hash function to if we use a hash function to determine uh, which value will be stored in which which index because so what we do with hash function is we pass a value we pass a data value as a, as a parameter and it will return an index and it will return an index and we'll store the data at that particular index okay so now now if for multiple values if it returns the same index now for multiple values if it returns the same index to results into a collision so and so what happens is which ultimately leads to a formation of linked list at each index so let's say the value of i is 9 so let's say the let's say the value of i is 1 for values k 1 2 and 3 right so a linked list of k1 k2 and k3 will be formed um, at the index i equals to 1 right so so if we have m rows so so if we have m slots and n keys keys means the Keys means the data. It can be it can be it can be the name of employees. It can be name of product. It can be name of product or name of employees or um, name of students, right? Uh, which will be spread across, which will be stored in M slots available in this table. Okay. Now each of these key has an equal probability to enter in each slot, right? Like. So what's the probability that K1 will be placed in any of this slot? 1 by M, right? Same goes for all these values. For all the values, it's 1 by M. The probability that, that they will get placed in, in, in any of these slots is 1 by M, right? So then what's the average length of each chain for each of these indices? Um, it will be N keys by M slots, right? So let's say if I have 1,000 values, right? If I have 1,000 key values and if there are only 100 slots, right? So what will be the average length of each chain on each of these slots? It will be 10, right? That means on an average, each of these indices will have a chain of 10 key values, right? And this, and this N by M is known as load factor which we also which which can be denoted by the symbol of alpha right that's called load factor which means the number of values that means the number of key values per slot number of key values per slot is the load factor n by m right so the time complexity so the time complexity to search for a key is first we need to find the index of an of an so first we need to find the index of the key, right? Which we'll do using the hash function, which will take which will take an order of one time, right? And once we find the index, we have to search through the linked list which is attached to that index, right? And uh, what's the what's the average length of that index? It's alpha, right? That is number of key values divided by the number of slots, right? So to find the index is 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 order of one and to find and then after finding the index to search for the element it's order of alpha because that's the length of the of this linked list right so in total theta of one plus alpha so the overall time complexity to search for a key in a hash table is one plus alpha right now now if the load factor is one let's say let's say if the load factor is 1 that means uh, the number of uh, length of linked list is only 1 
let's say if there are thousand key values and there are thousand slots okay so the number of so the number of values so the number of values for each so the number of values so the so the number of values per slot is one right that means the average length of list associated with each index is one right then the time complexity to search for the index is order of one only right because then the then the then the because then the alpha becomes one right so 